Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial today about the bunting. Um, I will quickly switch the camera angle and I will show you my layout for the pattern piece that I created for these triangles to make the bunting. So if you would like to see how to do this, follow on and I will show you. Right, so what I tend to do is I tend to fold my fabric in half, create a straight edge along the bottom, and then what you want to do is with a marker pen of some kind is you want to measure from the bottom of your fabric eight inches above and mark a line across the bottom of the fabric, join up the dots, So that you've got the length of your fabric and then from one end I'm just going to cut that off just to make it nice and clean so from one end of your fabric you want to start marking every six inches And then from the bottom of your fabric, mark three inches and then six inches between each one from that first three inch. And then take the point at the bottom and measure from the point of the top line you want to join up that to that first three inch and then the same with the opposite direction work your way along and mark from that point to the bottom point that you've made and that creates when you then cut them First bit you'd have to throw away and you cut along those lines. If you're using a non-directional fabric you will then create one piece, well sorry two pieces and then when you take off the next one you would then take in, you're then making your next one. So those are how I cut my bunting pieces and I will move along to show you how I construct them now. So what you want to do is take two of your bunting pieces, place them right sides together matching up the points of the triangles and then I like to use the edge of my foot as my seam allowance. So I line up the top corner with the edge of my foot here on the side and then what you want to do is back tack the beginning with a couple of stitches and then work your way all the way down to the point drop your needle in, turn it round and line up the other side of the fabric with the edge of the foot. Back tack to the end, trim your threads off. And then what I like to do is just that very point at the end, I just like to snip the excess fabric away. And then when you turn it through, just use a end of a paintbrush or something with a point to it to point out your corner of your bunting. So there you have one of your bunting pieces. 
and then once you've created all of the pieces that you want for however long you want your bunting I just take them all to the iron and I just press them all flat so the seams lay flat and then once I've done all these I will show you how to add them to the cotton twill tape that I use or you can use bias binding but I'll be back in a little while to show you how to do that. Right guys, so now once you've done all of your triangles and pressed them all so that they are all nice and pressed and flat and the points are as far poked out as you can get them, what I now do is take my one inch cotton twill tape, I fold the end in by about half an inch before folding it in half. As I say, you can use a bias binding if you would prefer to. So I just like to tuck that under, lower my needle into it. So I like to sew for about eight inches to give me a nice tail on the cotton twill tape. Try and stitch as close to the edge as you can. So then I will take my first triangle, flap open the twill tape, butt it up to where the fold will be, tuck it under just to line up the twill tape where it meets here and then I insert the first triangle. When I get to the end of that first triangle, I like to do a, about 10 stitches and then insert my next triangle. Again, folding the tape over, lining it up at the other end. About 10 stitches. Pick another colour if you're using different colours, slide it in and line it up, and off you go. So when you get to the end of inserting all of your different bunting triangles, what I then do is cut my cotton twill tape about eight inches longer than the last triangle, fold it under half an inch again, fold it in half and just enclose the end. And that is how you finish your bunting. So that is my bunting tutorial. As I say, I finished the ends off with about eight inches extra. Just tuck the ends in just so that it's nice and neat and it gives you something to also tie when you go to hang it. So I've done lots of different offcuts of fabric just to create a nice bunting. So hopefully that helps you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very soon.